Trinity. Today we're going to finish Proverbs 4. Proverbs 4, 20 to 27 says this. My son, be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and healing to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet. Then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. This walking metaphor at the end, this path metaphor is really striking to me. That Proverbs says, you know, if you want to live wisely, if you want to walk wisely, um, look forward. <laughs> Uh, look at the path in front of you. Uh, don't swerve to the right or the left or, or let your feet stumble into what is evil. And it's interesting to think about looking forward, looking at the part of the path that's right in front of us. Uh, often we don't. Often we give a lot of our attention to the path that might have been or what's back there or where we could have gone or what might happen or what we're afraid of or what we don't want to come in from the left or the right. And um, Proverbs says, keep your eyes on what's right in front of you. Uh, keep your eyes, uh, ponder the path of your feet. You know, step, step, step. Look for each step you take. It doesn't mean not to ever reflect on our lives or think about the future, everlasting life with God, for example. Scripture tells us to do that too. But it does mean we shouldn't spend too much of our heart on worrying about other people and might have been. We can ponder the path right in front of us and try to take the wisest steps we possibly can in the light of God's word.